Hello friends and welcome to VFX5 once again. So in today's video, we are going to see the next part of our ongoing series, which is Mocha 101. So in fourth video, we are going to introduce our rotoscopy process inside our Mocha and we will see how we have to proceed further if we want any kind of rotoscopy inside Mocha. So without any delay, let's get started. Okay, over here, as you can see, I'm importing my footage and it's all about what name we are going to have. So uh, a roto intro, something like that. And here where you want to save your file. So here in Mocha and I'm going to select my folder and you have to keep it in mind that what kind of frame rate we are going to use. So for this footage, I am using 60 frame per second because my footage was of 60 frame per second. So you have to keep it in mind. And after doing these changes, I'm going to hit OK. So as you can see over here, I have my footage from frame number first to frame number 80 and UHD 4K. So before starting any kind of rotoscopy, you have to analyze your footage. So to analyze that, I'm going to play it. Uh, as I can see, my character is walking and as well as my camera is moving. Might be you after watching your character, you can say uh, my camera is not moving. But as you can see over here, my camera is moving as well and my character is moving as well. So you have to keep it in mind what will be the best way to uh, start with rotoscopy. So my my suggestion will be start splitting your shape into smaller shape. Suppose that if you want to roto this character, so you don't need to roto all the body and all right. So what you have to do, you have to split bigger shapes into smaller shapes uh, like might be I can do a head in two part might be one part and might be two part might be hand. I'm going to pick uh, one part from this area and uh, hand will be the another part. Might be I can do one part over here, one part over here, something like that you have to understand. So let's start without doing anything. So what we have to do as we are analyzing our footage, like it's it's camera is moving and character is moving as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do my roto in two steps. First step will be I'm going to track my area where I want to do roto, right? Another roto or second step will be I'm going to make my shape and I'm going to connect that shape to my roto shape, right? That's the simplest way of starting your roto. So how we can do that? Just I'm going over here in X spline. If you want to understand the basics of Mocha, I'll suggest you to go and watch my uh, Mocha 101 series from first video, right? So first thing first, I'm going to draw a, a rough shape around that particular area where I want to start my roto and hit right click. So something like that. And if you want to adjust your shapes, you can do it. So. If you want to uh, give some uh, some smoothness to corners or uh, pointers, just right click, click any of them and just you can do some smoothness to shape as well. It's not mandatory to have shape in a very tight way, but you can do it in a loose way as well, just because we are having our tracking. After doing that, keep it in mind or you have to keep it in practice that you have to rename each and everything. Suppose that I'm going to double click over here because it's a right shoulder. Might be I can type RGT underscore SHLDR and might be underscore track so that I can know this footage or this shape is only for tracking purpose, right? So I'm going to select it and just if you are okay with your shape, just you have to do, you have to track forward from this point, right? So what it will do, uh, my tracking will start and it will track this particular area. It's not mandatory uh, for tracking. It should be very perfect. It should be okay, okay, then it will be okay for you because what will happen, I'm going to connect my shape with this roto and I'm going to adjust my points if required, right? So my tracking has been done and as I can see over here, as my t-shirt is moving and you can see over here, my shape is changing. So we don't need to worry about my shape that much, but if, if you can manage that shape, it will be very okay or it will be very good in fact. So, but for this example, I'm not going to do that. 
so here i am going to switch off my uh, this thing and i am going to switch off my processing as well and i am going to select my explain tool one more time and i'm going to hit z on keyboard and i'm going to zoom a little right something like that and might be i can start my drawing my shape something like that might be here and might be here you have to keep it in mind that your shape should be not too much right suppose that i'm going to click one point over here one point over here one point over here and might be one point over here and right click so if you want to adjust your points yes you can do it might be this point i don't want smooth i want corner because my shape of my t-shirt is something like that and i'm going to adjust also you can use various tools over here like you can use explain tool or you can add a b spline tool whatever you want it's all up to you so already we have discussed that thing so might be i'm happy with by this shape because i'm not worrying about these area because uh, another shape i'm going to draw it will overlap this arm as well right so it's all okay for me i can cross check this point and yes i'm okay with it so once i'm satisfied with my shape what we have to do we have to keep it in mind that uh, you have to rename it might be i can type uh, rgt underscore shldr underscore shape or roto whatever you can you can think of i'm done with my right shoulder shape and here just select your shoulder shape and over here you can see we have an option called link to track with which track you want to link we have all the list so i i want to attach my right shoulder shape to right shoulder track and as i'm going to select tracking data what will happen it will turn to blue that means your shape is now connected to some tracking information and as i'm going to play it as you can see it's going all fine with my uh, tracking but of course as my shape was changing so what we have to do we have to put few keys just to adjust my tracking so one more thing you can do over here you can group it how you can group it here we have an option called create group selected or create new empty group so what i'm going to do i am going to select my track information and going to click this what will happen a new layer group will uh, form and i'm going to double click it and might be again type uh, all track data so in this particular group what i'm going to have i'm going to have my all tracking data right and inside this i'm having my right shoulder track right might be i can switch it off might be i can select this and might be i can take another group and might be i can type uh, all shape data means in this particular folder what will have will have all shape data and in this particular folder what will have will have all tracking data so i'm going over here over here and might be i can start tweaking things like uh if i can see over here my this tracking is starting sliding somewhere from this frame as you can see this point i'll choose this before the point before sliding i'm going to choose that point and i'm going to might be hit z on keyboard and might be i'll, I'll start tweaking my shapes right i can go to last frame and of course i need to change my shape i'm hitting z on keyboard and click and drag just to zoom in zoom out so i have to take care about these two pointers already i am knowing that this point i have put it over here so i am trying to maintain that particular position as well so that's the key frame so as i am going to see after adding three or four points as i can see my tracking is going with the, or my roto shape is going with my shape i am not worrying about this point because 
already i have told you that i am going to draw another shape and that will be overlapping so i am not worrying about that just only i am worrying about my edges so as you can see over here i am having very very uh, good roto and solid roto but with minimal effort so what i'm going to do i'm going to draw same way i'm going to draw a few more shapes like i can draw this so might be i can i can switch it off and i can switch off the processing as well so i'm going to draw another shape and just do some overlapping because yes why not so i'm going to select my right arm and same way i'm going to connect my track to right shoulder track might be it will work and it will turn to blue and as i'm going to see it's working all fine for me just what i need to do just i need to adjust few points and my roto will be done so i'll spend some more time and after spending more time i can do my tracking in a better way so i hope this will help you to understand the process of tracking inside mocha and once we will done with our roto and all we can export that shape data to nuke or after effect and whatever software you want and you can use it as a mask so i'm hoping that this video will help you to understand the process of rotoscope inside mocha and you will use these techniques to improve your rotoscopy work and it will help you to make your showreel better so if you think that this video is helping you please don't forget to like this video share this video and if you're new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe with this said this is wfxy signing off have a good day